company is currently experiencing 37 electrical outages, potentially affecting almost 6,000 customers. And round two of back-to-back -back storms overnight targeted the Southern Valley with some of the worst trouble. And people there now are waking up to check out the damage. The Valley Today's Kelly Hubbard joins us live this morning from Wapaton, where there's uh, several reports of trees down. Hi, Kelly. What are you seeing? Yeah, hi, good morning, Jordan and Lisa. We just got off the interstate and we found storm damage right away. What you're looking at is a tree, a pretty large tree that broke down. If you can just see the trunk here, it could have fallen into the street, but it seems like it just fell sideways here. We are about two blocks north of Dakota Avenue here in Wapaton, kind of by 12th Street North. And I'm just gonna kind of walk with you. Now, this is just one of the major trees. I just got off the phone with Wapaton Dispatch and they told me that there are a lot of trees down in the area, including this one. I mean, just look at the branches just completely in front of this house right now. Now, we were told that power went out in Wapaton around three o'clock this morning. Most of it came back on in the next hour or so. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, it went out at two. It came back at three. Some of Wapaton still is without power. Now, there are many other areas, too, uh, that don't have um that have major trees down like 1st Street North and 5th Avenue North as well as 6th Street North. But yeah, just take a walk with me. Just kind of seeing what these trees look like. I mean, this is just in front of this house and this is just one of the many in the area too. So stay with um, the valley today as we kind of go through the area and show you these trees as well as the many power lines that are down as well. It really tells you how strong the wind was. That was a huge old tree, not just a few branches down. And it just snapped it right in half. And we're also Probably. learning that uh, Lake Region Electric Cooperative is reporting about 5,700 customers who are also without power this morning. So a lot of folks waking up uh, to those blinking alarm clocks. Hopefully everyone stayed safe.